Islam, 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 Shalom, Alaikum. Once again, peace and blessings to all my Moors, to all my Hebrew Israelites, to all my black Muslims, to all my Fahamis, to all my Nuwabians, Nuwabians, and to all my Sabians, to all my Coptic Christians, to all my Rastafarians, to all those brothers and sisters, gods and goddesses who strive to achieve the higher self, the divine and holy self, the tabernacle of the Most High. Oh, brothers and sisters, I am here today discussing a very, very interesting subject, a very, very overlooked, swept under the rug subject. Many might not acknowledge me as a Moorish American having this beautiful, nice fedora on. Many people might think I am a Jew. Maybe I look Jewish. Maybe I practice a form of Judaism. Maybe I don't. Who is the arbiter? Well, I will be the judge of that today. Islam, 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 brothers and sisters. My name is Brother Rodriguez Il, and I will be speaking today on the Moorish American Divine and National Movement. To begin with, I would like to clarify the confusion that has arisen these last couple of years with Minister Louis Farrakhan. And I love the Nation of Islam. I've had a couple of brothers in the Nation of Islam. I still have a couple of brothers in the Nation of Islam. I myself am not an active member of the Nation of Islam, but I do know active members of the Nation of Islam. I am an active member of the Moorish Science Temple of America, um, or as I like to call it, the Moorish Science Temple of the World, um, because Nobu Juali is a universal prophet, a global prophet. He is an American prophet. And America is in melting pot. So all those who declare themselves American can fall under the vine and fig tree of the more science temple of America. But onto bigger subjects and onto bigger matters, let's clarify the secret relationship between Moors and Jews. Yes, I said it. The secret relationship between Moors and Jews. Now, Louis Farrakhan, Minister Louis Farrakhan, now leader of the Nation of Islam, has made a lot of controversy, a lot of um, tension, has created a lot of tension with the book called The Secret Relationship Between Blacks and Jews. Um, this book is, um, I would say, racially motivated. It is religiously motivated to um, bring attention towards the relationship between blacks and Jews. But I am here bringing an, an even deeper paradigm, an even deeper meaning to the secret relationship between so-called blacks and Jews. See, we know that Negro color, black and Hispanic, Ethiopian are titles and labels that dilute to slavery. Nobu Ali established this early, early 90s, excuse me, early 1900s pardon me, early 1900s, um, Noble Juali established a nationality for those um, individuals under a social crisis in America, for those under a, a social spiritual crisis. And now we see that many people have just caused only more confusion. Many people have caused only more controversy and have postponed the political correctness that will economically liberate us all individuals within America going through this spiritual and social crisis, spiritual and social identity crisis. Minister Louis Farrakhan is a Freemason. Freemasonry is Christianity. Um, and it is diametrically opposed to Islamism, the Moorish Divine National Movement, and all those who seek to relinquish themselves from titles and labels that delude to slavery. You see, the secret relationship between Moors and Jews is deeper than 
the average citizen can possibly imagine. Um, the relationship between blacks and Jews is not as f- it's not far as it's not as serious as the secret relationship between Moors and Jews. You see, Moors and Jews have a bio spiritual economic relationship. Moors and Jews have a mental, spiritual, and physical relationship in regards to the fact that the term Moors and Jews are synonymous. The term black and white is synonymous. Black and white are both racial and slave titles and labels deluding to life, cattle, and slavery. While Moors and Jews are a globally, universally acknowledged term denoting a certain social, political, and spiritual, if not economic, status within society and international relationships. I will be making more videos And I will be making more detailed videos and I will be making more longer, if not shorter videos, depending on how much time this subject might and will consume. Peace and blessings, my brothers and sisters, Islam, Islam, Islam. Stay tuned for the second video and part two to the introduction to the secret relationship between Moors and Jews.